Ladies and gentlemen, this is episode I fucking forgot. Uh, it's technically the November into December episode. Let's go with that. The death, 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 death. I'm not editing this out. I'm lazy. Um, death Wish Dinner Theater <laughs> podcast. No, I'm not. At one of these one of these podcasts, I won't fuck up on the introduction. And uh, hopefully everybody who does the Thanksgiving stuff enjoyed the Thanksgiving. I got sick or got food poisoning. Don't know. Don't care. I'm good now. I'm here with Jay Tons. Yeah. We also got uh, Watch Your Six chilling. And uh, Tons. How about you introduce the first item of business? Oh boy, this is going to be exciting. So, uh, recently through uh, ESRB, and it's been announced of what Final Fantasy 16's rating is going to be. Drum roll, please. I don't expect the drum roll. Uh, it's going to be M for mature. For topics such as drugs, prostitution, war crimes, and other adult themes. Oh boy, more war crimes in Final Fantasy? Sign me up. Yeah, but <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a uh, Final Fantasy title actually rated M before. Uh, I don't think we've actually had a... Oh, was Lightning Returns? Or one of the Lightning ones? I don't think so. I think those were always still teen. Even though as much as I don't like uh, 13 as a series, like... I know some of those got hella dark. At least I think they did. Yeah, uh, I have, I have a Final question. Final Fantasy VI. Oh, go ahead, sir. Uh, did they ever announce what the rating of the next part of... Uh, b -b 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 seven. Seven is? It's going to be teen. Because I'm, I'm only saying, I imagine if they include it, Cloud stabbing Sephiroth with his gigantic fucking sword through the center of his body is not gonna, exactly going to be PG-13. Yeah, but also remember, there's not really blood. Yeah, they'll probably just make it material. You're right. Well, they don't even do that. They just uh, they usually don't even show uh, blood in the Final Fantasy series, oddly enough, which... Yeah. I'm sorry, when you have games that involve seven foot long fucking swords, like, what? Oh, oh, I found an entire list of all the things that are going to be for Wyatt's <laughs> M. You'll throw it up? Like, throw it up in no mic? I'll uh, pull it up on screen. The rating descriptors. Weapon use violence, sexual appeal, violent acts, drug use, descriptions of violence, sexual innuendo, bodily injury, foul language, sexual language, veiled nudity, presence of blood suffering of a victim that's a that's definitely something eroticization stigma slash precedence uh intentional killing normal nudity prostitution sexual relations hate crimes uh the r word that i will not say on stream uh the s word that i won't say on stream what torture the fuck Gratuitous violence and vulgarization. What the fuck? <laughs> Congratulations! We have entered Final Fantasy Game of Thrones, ladies and gentlemen. Yoshi P out here literally saying he's making his story. Bruh, I, I don't care about Fortnite in the slightest, but what the fuck is this lineup coming up in this next chapter? Don't I know. see <laughs> I see Doom Guy. I see Geralt of Rivea. And pardon my French, but I think I saw a fucking pickaxe stylized after All Might. Eh. What? Look, it's Fortnite. They're just gonna buy out everything Yo, they can. Bob just like Microsoft. Show up here and get a floss on somebody. Also, I saw the Hulk on a motorcycle that looked like a crotch rocket. 
because he big. Okay, so I'm just gonna throw this out. There's only one good thing that's come out of Fortnite, in my opinion. Do tell. I'm getting it so it can show up on stream. Alright. I'm not gonna play the audio because I don't remember if he used uh, uh, a license. license audio or not. But uh, I'm gonna flip it over to this quick. This is uh, Impact Props. They do a lot of like Halo cosplay stuff. And uh, I'm just going to play the intro to this video. This meme. Hold on up. <laughs> this meme this is the... came because of fucking that Fortnite Master Chief shit. <laughs> my my Which also, is, I, I, I just want to say this is Impact <gasps> Props. They do really cool shit, and I'm going to throw their credit in the... Uh, Description because I played their video. No, I understand. But like, I understand, you know, doing the warthog, but why not a mongoose? Mongoose would have been you tell interesting, me people, but you tell on, me people think of a mongoose. Warthog. You tell me people think of a mongoose when they tell you, "Hey, or, give me a uh, give me a halo vehicle or a ghost." Why wouldn't they just do a ghost? There. that's what I wanted. That's what I wanted on screen. It's beautiful. It's fucking beautiful. He fucked up by not having the McDonald's Sprite, though. Oh, he didn't have the Sprite. He lost his Sprite. power. Sprite. Gotta get some Sprite. Alice said no build gamer mode. I'm not gonna lie, no build was fun when I played it, but I still don't like fucking Fortnite and Epic Games. Oh, I don't care for it at all. The only thing I care about is the shit post videos of insert character here we doing the to, grid. We used to be all down for that shit. We were going to turn into a Fortnite stream. I cannot wait until I see Doom Guy hitting the meanest gritty and then got just remembering somebody. He's hitting the woke on the ice. Also, it was fun just playing stupid shit with Z in general. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, Zeke made, uh... Zeke made games fun. Any bad game turn into fun because, like, dude, stupid shit with stupid friends is stupid fun. Oh, that's why we like Destiny so much. <laughs> no, we like Destiny because at this point I think we're indoctrinated into a weird cult. Am I wrong, Alice? Alice? Also, I think we're just trying to live our glory days of OG Halo. And this is the closest thing we can get, because Bungie. I mean, I wish I could do the same thing with Gears 3. I miss Gears 2. I miss Gears 3. I miss Gears. I think Gears 3 was like the last point where the game was still simple. Yeah. When I could but, play uh, Horde mode, and I could just play Horde mode, and not whatever fucking hero shooter bullshit they designed for Gears 5. Um. Yeah, you're right. So, uh. Also. And I know this subject's probably gonna take a long time just to discuss in general. So, Microsoft. Mm hmm. And I'm not even just talking about the whole Activision merger thing. Like, at this point, have they turned into an evil conglomerate? Like, let's say they're legitimately trying to buy everything. Well, the question is, do you let every do you let other people buy everything before you can? Now, I want to preface, because, I mean, this, this like, <laughs> I am definitely not a Sony fanboy by any means, because, uh, they be doing stupid shit, too, but, like, mm -hmm. I don't think we'll ever not have exclusive bullshit, but, like, eventually it's going to be a problem if Microsoft keeps buying stuff, because it's, it's all going to be, like, locked to, you know, 
I had to play it on the Xbox or PC Game Pass, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just thinking about this, like... Even if it runs like shit, I'd like to see stuff on the Switch and the PS4 or PS5, like... Although, really, they should stop developing for the 4 at this point and focus on the 5 for the... Or maybe, no. Like, 5 people who have it. <laughs> Man, but like... I just want to say... Ubisoft must be goofy in the head to think people are still waiting on fucking DLC for Far Cry 6. People played Far Cry 6? I think I played... They you did. They kept with the 2 for so long. I mean, you're right. But, like... Speaking of Far Cry 6... I enjoyed what I played, but I ain't ever going back to that. I ain't finishing... Finishing it. I feel like if you played one one Far Cry campaign, you played them all at this point. Because they've I gotten like, very formulaic. I feel like you could make a... and for Far Cry 5. I enjoyed Far Cry 5. Hope Montana. Wait, that, that's one... Yes, yeah, I was thinking the right one. And the Diabetes Bear. I think 60% of the reason why I actually enjoyed Far Cry 5 was like, uh... Zeke. Well, between playing the co-op campaign with, like, Zeke, it was, it was basically in the Midwest and, like, the mountain regions, and, like, it was almost one of those, like, close-to-home weird feelings. Yeah. Except with more, you know, religious bigotry and zealots. Wait, Marzos, saying... I feel like there was less zealots. You might be right. Just our zealots are more sleeper than... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck the Midwest. <laughs> but I mean, it'd be like if for some godforsaken reason we actually had a Fallout game in our region. Oh, like, the Midwest oh, would be neat. kind of fucking interesting, but like that map would be hella boring. It's, gotta it's flat, dude. It's just flat. Well, I know, but, you know, we got some interesting buildings. Hey, you can't hey, say... Rocket gets it, though. Fuck the Midwest. The... From the Midwest. Yep. <laughs> I, w I would love to go through the Mall of America, though, and just fuck around in there. I was talking dude. about this game with a buddy of mine. I do not like playing it at all. I don't like how the systems work, but... I'm glad that this Diablo Warhammer game, Inquisitor, is still getting new content. After being out for... Fuck, when did this game come out? Inquisitor? Like, two or uh, three years ago? I think it was 2019, yeah. Twenty seventeen. Oh Holy my god. Fuck. And just a few days ago gets a brand new spanking class Coming and new surprise. weapons. We get I mean, we getting Sororitas Inquisitors now. To be fair, to be fair. I mean Diablo three kinda lasted for a really fucking long time. Yeah, but they only added like one character. Right? Yeah, true. They added a tech head mechanicus person, like it was summer actually. Summer of this year, and then they cranked so they added out Soror two, uh, classes. Oh no! Uh, so yeah, yeah I'd yeah, have yeah. to look into how many they added total, but regardless, for a game that I did not enjoy playing because of how it worked, I'm really glad that it's just going so well that they're still cranking out shit again. You know, that's valid. Talk. Hmm. So it looks like they've only added the Tech Adept was the newest one. Mm. Yeah, back in summer. 
the Mechanicus. I think I owned that on PS4, but never ended up playing it, because the people I was supposed to play it with, like, uh... They kind of just disappeared. Whatever. You know how video game friends be. They right, remember that, I brother. I don't talk to anybody from my Xbox days anymore. Preach. I miss them, though. I have one friend from my Xbox days who, like, still every once in a while shows up on Steam, but, like, they've been playing Skyrim for the last, like, Yes. And it's like the only game I ever see them load on Steam. So, in other semi-recent news, shit that I didn't expect to get a board game. Elden Ring. I mean, Dark Souls 3 has a board game. And I still never expected it. Those models are amazing, by the way, for the Dark Souls. Oh, yeah. I heard. Uh, like I think you Bloodborne could... has one too. I think it does. Like you could see every fucking gut and crevice on the troll model. It's crazy. Like what? What I find wild about like board games in general is like, if you look around, and if you actually look, they're fucking everywhere. Whatever fucking genre or theme you want, there's a board game. You just gotta look. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I'd be tempted to buy this just to have little fucking statuettes of all the characters around. But also... Just let me play Munchkin. <laughs> just, just somebody somewhere, fund it. Give me an online Munchkin that doesn't have to be played through fucking board game simulator thingy-majiggy. The fucking tabletop simulator or whatever. God, I have not played Munchkin in so long. Dude, if you're with a group of fucking nerds and, like, you have no fucking clue what to do. And I've done this at conventions a lot. Not recently. Uh, the last couple of years of conventions, I've just been stuck in the video game room because that's where I have staff. But, like... <laughs> dude, I just bring, like, no, no, three no, no, or four no. of my okay. box sets of munchkins. Hold on. And we just do that for a couple hours. No. What's okay, up, so you mentioned uh, munchkin. As of December 1st, 2022, Munchkin Digital on Steam. What? Is this a thing? How bad I, is uh, this? I, uh, I think it was a conversion of a mobile game. Oof. I'm looking this up. Beautiful. I don't know, man. For 15 bucks, I'd play something like that. Ah. <laughs> uh. Man. In terms of games, I think are cool, but I don't think I'll ever play. Good to see Blood Bowl 3. Good to see. <laughs> but does it work? Blood Bowl 2. It's, uh, it's not out yet, so... Then we will wait and see if it works. It's Blood Bowl 2. Uh, yeah, it was the thing. It's coming out February 23rd. Neat. Whoops. <laughs> that goblin got punched in the face. Um, yeah, this Microsoft shit is just fucking wild to me because I can't stand exclusives on either side. I really can't. Personally, I feel like you will sell more copies of a game as a developer and a publisher if it's on as many things as it possibly can be. But what I do I know? I'm not a business up. major. Only minored in it. Yeah, I'm, I'm of the same mind. Like, console exclusivity just seems like, man, 
we only really want people to buy on this specific console. It ain't even that... console exclusivity anymore. Epic fucked that up. Yeah. Yeah, but... Like, shit, is there are PC people who version? still Oops, don't have access to a PS5. True. Yeah. But, uh, no. And y'all are, it... are fucking coming out with exclusives for that shit still. Isn't the, See, uh... I feel like... Yeah, Isn't the PC exclusive of, like, Kingdom Hearts, like, locked to Epic? I think so. Yeah. Gross. Or just, like, Darkest Dungeons locked to Epic. Whenever I don't want to talk about it. Is it even done yet? No. Uh, I haven't looked. No, there's no way Darkest Dungeon 2 is done yet. Dude, the only game I have on the Epic Store is Darkest Dungeon 2. And that's because even though they did that, I'm still going to support that team. I don't care. Oh, I didn't realize that happened. I love me some Danka's Dungeon. Uh, Weather Report and Father Pucci are in JoJo fighting game now. Nice. Oh shit. Wait, would that be spoilers? I don't know if some people are only anime only. Yeah, I'm just not going to talk about that. Uh, well, I mean, they've, they've both been know, shown it's in the show. Manga, so, like, mm, no, 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 I'm going to behave. I'm just going to say both characters have been shown. I know they've shown Poochie. I know they've shown Weather Report. No, yeah, no. I don't. That season was last year, but I'm talking about the story related to them that I'm just not going to say. Yes, on stream, I don't know if they've just, if they've talked about that yet. Yeah, because that's I know, definitely... I think it's going to be in the next one. I will not refer to anything in that, Well, but... Uh, the last season of Stone Ocean is on Netflix, finally. Also, fuck ne Netflix. I mean, again, on the exclusivity thing, uh, fuck all of it. Yeah, fuck exclusives in general. Well, it's yeah. like, uh, if you want to watch The Thousand Year Blood War, you have to... Like, get pay Hulu. Disney. <laughs> you either pay Disney or you watch it on Hulu Did that Disney you still Hulu? have to fucking pay for. It's on Hulu as well now. Which, by the way, you still have to pay for Hulu and you still have to watch ads. Who yeah. do you Hulu, bitch? Or pay extra, I, I think. I can't but remember. Because I'm of not that, paying they, for Hulu. Uh, they took it all off. They took all of Bleach off of Crunchyroll. Which means then I think Funimation lost it too. Now. In news that I think everyone can appreciate, how about that recent combat trailer for good old Like a Dragon Ishin? What? Do you, you shoot people with gun? Do you got a link? Yeah. What a memento, poor favor. That, that is one game I cannot wait for February. I got it. Yeah, the link I was trying to give is taking too long. Go ahead and throw that up, my man. I won't have Good sound because I'm lazy once again, but. Oh, and my here God, we it have... looks so good. Look at this. Here we have good old, good old, not Kiryu Kazuma. Totally not murdering people. At all. No, sir. I'm so happy Ishin's coming to the U.S. Same. It's just adding more games to my uh, year of Yakuza. Which starts in January, by the way. I still gotta play fucking three and up. And I gotta finish seven. <laughs> I'm okay with this, Alice. It's Yakuza. Now, mind you, for brevity, I'm not doing 100% playthroughs. That'll take but if I see ever. a side quest, I'm doing it. If I miss a side quest, welp. Wait, 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 you can pull... <laughs> you can pull out a gun. Oh, I'm uh, talking yeah. about the gun, I'm talking about the fucking using Wild Dancer, just all... Spin and all these bullets. Oh shit, we got... Re That's a cannon. 
That is not surprising, Cass. Uh, if I can get my PC or PC PS3 to work, uh, with my capture card, Dead Souls will be on the list. If I can't, Dead Souls gets removed. Bro, could you imagine if they remade Dead Souls? If Man, only. This, is, this just reminds me of like for February. some reason Onamusha without the fucking demons. No, you know what it reminds me of? Yo Jimbo. Yo Jimbo. Oh. That's right, I just pulled some Akira Kurosawa out of my ass. But yes, Cass, your your surprise at seeing a cannon is hilarious to me. Let me remind you of the Senbon Cookie Industry funded satellite laser. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> hey, the best move in Yakuza 7 will always be <laughs> the fucking roll of money. <laughs> Like, bro. Bro. I'm, I'm so hit wealthy, I'm just gonna bitch slap you with the Benjamins. In other news, we're still waiting for the Game Awards for more Tekken 8 news. Uh, do, do we want to awesome. argue about? Go ahead. Oh, do we want to argue about game of the year? No. Yeah, we can we can segue into that. But uh, <laughs> they showed some motion capture for uh, Tekken Eight, and like there was somebody with the sword. So like I, I, at this point, I, I fully expect Yoshimitsu to show back up, as you usual. The it wouldn't be a Tekken War. without Yoshimitsu though. But then. I also saw one of the mocap uh, guys had a fucking tail. Yo, are we getting Roger or Alex back? Oh, God. Why did that guy have to open his mouth? Sorry. Uh, <laughs> continue. I'm, I, I just saw an article that made me cringe. But uh, I'm just excited, man. You know what I'm excited for? Would you like a reminder of what got announced at last year's VGA that had that? me get myself metaphorically? What's up? They announced Space Marine 2. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I hope they show more of that. Yeah, I do as well. I, I hope they show one thing specific. Could, could show me my PvP. That? Okay. I really well, hope I'd we... like to I'd like to counteract that statement and say show me the PVE. Well, I'm, I'm hoping I, I mean we already know we're getting good I'm good hoping PvE. for four things. Four things is what I want in this game and it'll make it my personal game of 2023. Make that story mode co-op as fuck. Please. Make me be able to play with a whole ass kill team of players. Like just let me run around with, like, three more dudes. Because I'm already going to have a squad with me. You might as well let me have friends who play as them. Uh, number two. Give me give me the hard-as-fuck horde mode back from Ultramarine 1. Yes, dude. That horde number mode was three, so... Give me Which that reminds me. fucking PvP back with the greatest customization I have seen in a Warhammer game in a long time. Because give me more customization. Yeah, and a lot more to it, please. Like, I use that as an army painter. It's it's funny you mentioned that, Cass. That uh, we still need to play that augmented mod for space. Yeah, Marine I gotta Uno. I gotta reset it all up because new PC. Because but... they keep at they keep adding PVE arenas to that shit. Their custom work is really good. Uh, for those mm -hmm. who don't know. Uh, Warhammer Space Marine, like, it's an old-ass game now. I think it was a Games for Windows game back in the day. And, uh, some modders did a lot of work to it. And, like... It's so good. Like, it wasn't the greatest game in the world by any means, but it's... One of the 
diamonds in the piles of shit known as Games Workshop pouring out their license. Like, and I will not, and I will not repeat that sentence. This mod they, team, it, <laughs> they give that IP out to every Tom, Dick, and Cole Younger. Like this mod team just keeps adding more and more and more. I see a review in here, by the way, for this. The game's fun, but it's super short and there's no lore. Shit game. Okay, bro. No lore. No lore. They have a reference to Dawn of War in that fucking game when you talk to the goddamn Blood Ravens. Eat my ass. Like, you didn't need to put that in. You didn't need to, you know, acknowledge any other Warhammer game in existence, but you fucking did. Oh, yeah, I know we're not... I know we're mostly video games, but I'm going to talk about a movie when we have a second. Yeah, give me Dude. just a second here. Oh. Uh, you know what? No, I just... You know what? It was uh, another bit of decent Warhammer news. In terms that of video fun. games. Oh, video games, okay. That yeah, XCOM game of theirs, Chaos Gate Demon Hunters, is getting a new update. Ah. Where I'm not 100% get... certain if this will work, by the way, but since we were talking about it, I'll play the trailer after Jay's done. Well, I haven't looked into it much, but the main trailer basically showed off, well, we getting dreadnoughts on the squad. Fuck yes. Anyway, Even in continue, death, I still conti serve. continue with the trailer that 11 months ago, I was bitching and moaning and thinking it was another high-resolution fucking phone game trailer. But then I see the helmet come off. And then Belisarius Call did some things. <laughs> but actually, I have a Warhammer thing to talk about this as well. Dude, I fucking, uh, kinda... I, I love 40k so much. Except Games well, Workshop uh, can eat a dick. Games yeah. Workshop, everyone. So, on the topic of the 40, 40k, even though none of us really play the table. Uh, I believe via lore, there might be trying to make another Chaos God. Uh-oh. I wouldn't be surprised. A Chaos God of Innovation. An invention. Look at this. It's so good. I don't care. And getting to fuck up the Tyranids. I'm in. Well, and then we we can all pretty much agree that they are Primaris, right? They're not just standard Space Marines. Yeah, now. no, they're no, Primaris these five, Marines. These are 500 Primaris with the red with the red trim. Yeah, they got the red trim on their helmet, so. Plus, I mean, kind of stand over normal base marines, like really tall, don't they? Also, the bolt pistol type is the new variant. I mean, I personally don't think a normal space marine could rip off a swarm lord's head like that. <laughs> that's not a swarm lord. That's a or regular ass turned uh, warrior. Warrior, sorry. I don't know, and man. Two. They are Space Marines. We're talking about, uh... Yeah, I know. I want to see gameplay as well, Raka. Like... I know it was you, only a teaser, but, Me like, shitting myself. I have questions, because, like... Captain... I that's again. There's so much on screen, dude. I need answers. <laughs> what? Okay, I'm in now, lol. <laughs> I need answers, though, because, like, bro. 
What, well, one of the things what kind I'm... of answers? What kind of answers do you need? What? Let's hear. Let's hear. Homeboy has four bolts in his head now. Yeah. yeah. That's four centuries of service. Yep, service bolt. Now it four makes of it them now. Yeah. So, how many did he have in Man's the first game? Three. Two or three, I believe. Yeah. Hang on, I gotta look up a picture. Yeah, me, I'm doing it too. <laughs> The orcs wished him to be eternal. No! I mean, he had two. Holy so that's shit. 200 the more room. years. Well, anywhere between 199 and 100. Yeah. Then what? But yeah, yeah still. after all, it's been the end of the 41st millennia for what, 20 years? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here, here's the big question I have. Like. But that that just puts in so many questions. What did they do with him? That what happened? Yeah, what happened when the Inquisitors and the Black Templar showed up? All right, I've, I I talked about this about a year ago with a couple other people. Here here's 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 my thoughts. They press gang him into becoming a prisoner, so they could study why he's so resistant to the warp. He's stuck in an inquisitorial petri dish for I don't know certain amount of time Robote Gilliman comes back to life oh hears about Titus being yeah, that's true. I did, I did fucked about with Gilliman and then says that shit's dumb as Lord Commander biggest dickus of the entire Imperium of Man shut the fuck up and give me that man And right. throw him at Belisarius' call to put him in the Primaris machine. But here's the thing. Homeboy was touched by the warp. I know. Why is he still just if a soldier? If I, remember if I remember from the details they gave out, he's not a captain anymore. He's a lieutenant now, I think. Okay. Yeah. But here's my question. He got a demotion. Why is he Reg just a normal soldier? No clue. He was touched Why, by the war. Just a normal marine, and not possibly a part of chaos undivided or even corn, since that was the invasion that was happening. Well, I wouldn't exactly call that a corn invasion. That was just a bunch of blood letters getting summoned by Mimaroth. I mean, blood letters. <laughs> like, there was literally nothing else cornate in that entire crew. I mean, okay, you're you're not wrong, actually. I think it would be. They had psychers. They had those demonic engine things that flew around and shot you. But the other thing is, you're right, is because all the all the enemy chaos marines were just. I mean, kind of chaos undivided. Mm -hmm. Let's 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 just let's just put it into perspective. Out of the four gods. Which has the easiest fodder enemy to model and animate? Corn. Yeah, true. And you know, pass pass ESRB rating without kicking it up even further. <laughs> Let's be honest. I'm sure as fuck ain't <laughs> Nope. <laughs> like, you try and tell me that somebody is gonna try and animate a pink a pink horror on mass. Now I would like to I would like just one little thing I just came to my mind is it could possibly be Cornite just because of Don really Don. likes the orcs. Uh, you cut off for like the last ten seconds. You're gonna have to repeat that entire. I statement. apologize. My microphone is garbage. We know Shit Corn happened. likes the orcs. Well, yeah, he likes he likes any blood getting spilled, and specifically Tuska Demon Killer. Like, I'll be honest, I could agree with you for the fact that it's Cornate because Graia turned out to be a massive fucking mess. 
You want to you want to know what happened on Armageddon? The fighting that on Armageddon got so bad that demons just randomly show up there. Scarbrand just shows up. I mean, shit. Alleg allegedly, it hasn't been confirmed yet. Angron showed up on Armageddon, and that's why Yarrick's dead. Oh, oh no. Huh. The angry boy fought the other angry boy. Yeah, and then ruined the rivalry of the greeny boy. Man, that'd be the weirdest cool. fucking tie turn of events. Angron fucking murders Yarrick because Yarrick went out in the last stand or some heroic bullshit. And then Gazgul decides, fuck chaos. You, you other not spiky humies are fine, but I'm come back for you after I deal with chaos. I mean, you know, Gazgul Throck is technically the closest to a quark we have right now, so... Aye, aye. And to reiterate, that that entire theory I had about why Titus is not still in a Petri dish, that's just bullshit theory crafting. Yeah, but theory crafting's fun. Oh. Yeah. What's this? What's up, Rock? Crap? What you doing? There's a 4K theory crafting. We don't know what the fuck's going on. This Games Workshop? To uh, fair point. <laughs> Here at Games Workshop. Oh, what's that? Your 3D printing proxies? That's Send a bad one. Norum. Your 3D printing proxies? We are mass photocopying lawsuits. Send the Assassinorum squad, also known as the lawyers. Fucking send. Look, I wouldn't be 3D printing proxies if it wasn't $50 for five fucking units. <laughs> Oops, sorry, sorry. That's, that's a price from... No, no, my bad. My bad. That's a price from four years ago. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. What's Hold the on. price of an average squad of guardsmen? Games I mean, Workshop. Uh, we threw out some numbers to a co-worker who's interested. And I think we lowballed it on... Like, actually, no, we mentioned, like, this was, like, low-grade army of, like, 350 bucks for, like, a 2,500-pointer. You pity. $150 for a combat patrol. Ugh. How much is a combat patrol? One, two, three, four, five. Like, I mean, six, seven, eight, does, it nine, <laughs> does it say how many points it is? 16 humanoid units and three vehicles. Tiny vehicles. What's the point cost here? I don't care about a painting guide. One Uthar the Descend, five Teutonian Berserks, three Hurkin Pioneers, ten Hurkin Warriors, one Le Leagues of Oton Transfer Sheet, blah 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 blah, Deckles. Oh, the Squats. This is maybe 800 points. Maybe, at best. Well, I'm looking at the... What's this called? Cadia, the Cadia Stands Astra Militarum Army set for $200. Yeah, but that's like a 1,500-point army. That's 20 shock troopers. Yeah, that's like a full army. Two ordnance teams. A Cadian Command Squad, which is five models. And one armored sentinel. 
I won't and pretend to know the point cost of all of those, but that's the wrong. That's the wrong set. Included uh, in that is a bunch of other shit, like uh, the new Astra Militarum Codex, data cards, and a transfer sheet. So it's not just it's not just the thirty or so models. Yeah, no, no. This is the point I'm trying to make. Here you go. I apologize that... for the white screen. Five possessed units. So, so Cass, I got the points for the army. Yeah? Was it not even 800? That... No, that that ninth edition patrol, combat patrol, is for the... 500. For the dwarfs? No, for that one that Cass was talking about. The yeah, that was patrol. the... That's 500 points. I mean, hey, Cass, if you look further down, you can see five Chaos Space no. or er, Terminators for $60 this is all you as need. well. $60 for five fucking Possessed. Which Possessed are low-ass points. Man, I'd rather <laughs> just get, like, the one... I just, just want to complain, like, oh, okay? Oh. No, no, I'm just saying I'd rather play, like, one-page miniatures version that you can just 3D print all the shit you want and not have to worry. A single warp smith, 38 bucks. Nah, fuck you. This better be a fine cast. It's not. And I wonder if you could pl even play all of the models in this custody set that they've got. Yeah, I'm in pain. I'm in pain. <laughs> anyway... Enough, enough price gauging woes. <laughs> no, but here's the thing, Araka. Everything I've, I've printed, personally, is uh, copyright distinct. Yeah, they tried. They tried coining the term Space Marine. No, because <laughs> all of the proxies I've printed have emojis for faces. <laughs> and you can just straight up guess what emoji I used. Did you make angry emoji marines? No. I'll put it in no mic. Funny. <laughs> or is it that laughing? It's in no mic. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yo, you just got. Fucking a team of corn berserkers rushing you, and they got that face. Yeah, fucking... that's why I only really own one model, and I I know I've said it a hundred times. Still need somebody to paint it, make it. Good old Gasgol's new model. At this point, I, mean, I don't know if you're willing to ship, but I there's a there's a local person. It's pretty good. I'm willing. Nah, you're right, Raka. But uh, uh oh. it's it's copyright distinct enough. I don't think I would actually get in trouble. But <sighs> at this point, I don't actually need to buy any more models. I have a 1,500 point army of like literally just corn. Hell yeah! Still need to be painted. But we're not going to talk about that. This is this is about the podcast, not me. <laughs> oh, God. That got a trailer today? <laughs> Does it have the juice? Who's, Fuck no. It has blood for the blood throw. Who's, who's ready for the TV experience of The Last of Us? I don't care. <laughs> the Last of Us finally got the trailer for their show. And that yeah. is people juice. Look. Blood for the blood god, skulls for the skull throne. Milk for the cornflakes. Shit. <laughs> Dude, I love my corn army. 80% of them have fucking, uh... That one mechanic that I can't remember the name of all of a sudden. All I know is if I try to attack, I have to roll a die before I can even move a unit. <laughs> 
And 80% of the time, my dice, fa my dice rolls fail. And I attack my own friends. But, uh, before I forget... I, re I refuse to change tons. But yeah, what's up? Uh, the, the trailer for the world's greatest movie that'll be releasing uh, shortly. The one, the only, the cocaine bear. Have, have you seen trailer cats? Have you seen That's something bear? I can put up on stream? Uh, I mean, it's by Universal, and it's based right. on a true story. But is it a Red Band trailer or not? I don't think so. Let me, let me. Yeah, if it's a Red Band, I can't. Let me, let me just. That is my whole autobiography. <laughs> so what game uh... are we doing first for the event? Um... I mean, to answer you, Rock, which I totally didn't see it, and I'm sorry, I am down to go right into Rumblefish. I don't give a shit. I will learn it. But uh, if you want to do any other game, we can do Tekken. We can do uh, Rev. Uh, we could do... I can't do Skullgirls. I'm not good at the combo system in that. Um... I mean, feel free to just... We're doing three. Well, Rumblefish is the last game. That's right. That's right. Um, That reminds me. Is she out yet? What about something like... Ultra 4, Tekken, and then Rumblefish? Is that uh, interesting enough? Or... Uh, I mean, if you send me... KI. Oh, fuck yeah. No, 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 no. Fuck Ultra. Let's do, uh, let's do KI Tekken and then, uh, uh, KI Tekken and then, uh, uh, Rumblefish. Alright. Damn. Black Dahlia still isn't out yet. Never will be. Shush you. I, I'm not even gonna play the whole trailer on stream. KI oh three games then Rumblefish. That's right. K I K O F Tekken. Yeah, I like that. I could do that. So uh I mean you, you you'll get the premise of the movie pretty quickly. I'm not gonna play the whole trailer. I'm probably gonna do a 30 second snippet just for safety's sake. Oh, Under Jesus. What is that? Yeah, cause it is universal and they have tendencies. Beth, we should go. That CGI is fucking dreadful. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we get the gist. Why is somebody making- You know what, I'm not even gonna ask that question because somebody made the horror movie about Winnie the Pooh. And okay. now the Grinch as well. And don't forget! They're also making a Bambi one. I I want to know what's what are people such. That's it. Because going they to see Hollywood, a, you know, generally cute they, and rude. They see they see a possible new money route. But it's like, why not do something a little more creative? Like, why not make like the Grinch movie? about like same thing happening but it's not a green fuzzball nah fuck you i'm just gonna make the sausage. matrix but it's backwards the grunch so it's about it's about real people trying to just become virtual fuck you oh wait it's, so happening. it's just vr we're chat. here we live in it <laughs> so it was a disney property and they can do it without yeah you're right hilarious but yeah all right ki kof tekken rumblefish 2 ah i can't wait also since we're talking about it ladies and gentlemen one of the greatest fighting game experiences is launching on the 7th uh forgot how the ps5 fucking store works give me a second 
Behold. The Rumblefish 2. We must rumble and we must fish. Like, while this animation's janky as shit, I love it. Rock, dude. I can't wait, because now I can actually use all of the fucking systems. And won't have busted buttons for once. Like, man, I can't fucking wait for this. Because, like, my boy Bazoo and my boy Aaron. Wait, is this default supposed to be set to fucking three matches? Pain. <laughs> I can't wait. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, like, it's been relatively a quiet month as far as, like, just weird news in general. Unless, you know, politics, but that's a fucking hellscape that I ain't getting into. We do not wander into the nightmare realm. But, uh... It's been fucking chill. Wait, there's one more thing. There's one more thing. There's one more thing, ladies and gentlemen. There's one more thing, and I can't wait to end on this. Ladies and gentlemen, King of Fighters 15, Season 2, your boy. Jingle kick. And buffs for Billy. Look at it. I don't really play Shingo like that, but I'm excited. Big go kick. And then also. Something I wish every video game at this point would have. Oh, hell yeah. C -c 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 Give me crossplay. Cross I'm gonna be playing Monster Hunter Load on the play. Ooh. I don't even care. I'll take the copyright strike for, for that song if there is one. I guess in case you can make money off of my video, I don't care. <laughs> Roll back. Roll back for fucking Sam Show. One of my all time favorite fighting games. It just happens to have some uh, bad net code. A little late, but better late than never. I don't think it's too late at all. 
That's one thing we forgot to talk about. What's up? We can still talk about it. Which we can do it's a still going. And do it for the now no, it's no, still just, going. Because nothing really else has been shown, but by some... I don't know, Miracle, we're actually getting Dead Island 2. Details to come shortly. Oh, uh, yeah. So probably at the uh, Game Awards. Wait, Wait maybe uh, three days. Oh, well... Speaking of the Game Awards, anyways, maybe we'll do an extra podcast for that. Oh, yeah. I'm not guaranteeing anything, but I'll think about it. <laughs> I mean, if we do something, I'll be happy to join in and yeah. metaphorically chip myself at Space Marine 2 news. As for this, though, this has been the Death Witch Dinner Theater episode, whatever the fuck it is. I've lost count. I'll put it in the title when I figure it out. <clears throat> but uh if you like this check out the youtube check out the tiktok check out the twitch i'm gonna be continuing streaming after this anyways but feel free to leave a like or a comment on this video when it's actually up on youtube it's up for the patrons for uh patrons first but uh after that it goes on to the youtube um yeah and just leave a comment for something to talk about next episode or uh, have a chat about what we already talked about. Peace. This has been Cass and the other two. Say shit. I see how it is, you two. Again, who will hit you in the face. Kick him. I tried to talk